category are Derby Middle School from Derby, Oklahoma, Rosewood Middle School from Goldsboro, North Carolina, and Heron Creek Elementary School from Enterprise, Alabama. You may be wondering why an elementary school for JS2S. This school goes up to sixth grade and was trained in JS2S. They have sixth graders leading, planning, and serving at their school, and they were established as a JS2S prior to ES2S being an MSEC initiative. Everyone, please say hello to all the teams on Facebook Live. Let's give a round of applause for all these finalists. The Outstanding JS2S Program of the Year Award goes to Heron Creek Elementary School. Accepting the Outstanding JS2S Team Award on behalf of Heron Creek Elementary School is the team from Enterprise High School who is here at the NTS. When Heron Creek Elementary School was asked what makes this team successful, the sponsor replied, the students. That is the definition of student-led. In honoring the value of 100% acceptance, the Heron Creek JSOS uses an iPad to assist in communicating with students whose first language is not English. This ensures students feel they have a friend right away. The JSOS teams mingle with the new students and teach them about Heron Creek at monthly socials. To serve the community, this team collected stuffed animals to contribute to the town's goodie bags for the children of the November hurricane, and this team rang the Salvation Army bell in December. Congratulations to Heron Creek for being the JSOS Team of the Year. The next category is for the S2S Team of the Year. Finalists in this category are Randolph High School, Universal City, Texas, Wiley High School, Wiley, Texas, and Grassfield High School, Chesapeake, Virginia. Please stand and be recognized. Let's give a round of applause for all our finalists. The Outstanding Student to Student Program of the Year goes to Randolph High School, Texas. All S2S teams have the opportunity for 10th and 11th grade students to apply for the Francis Hesselbein Student Leadership Program. Randolph has done just that. This young team has sent two students to the Francis Hesselbein Student Leadership Program and they've attended two national training seminars. They present for MSEC at every opportunity in order to share their good ideas and help other S2S teams gain new ideas. Randolph High School hosted a school talent show and homecoming mum making party. That's a Texas thing. At their annual Halloween party, new and returning students paired up to dress in matching costumes. This is a small example of innovative thinking to help students get to know each other and build relationships. Randolph S2S created QR codes for new students with tips to succeeding at Randolph and gave each new student a Rohawk shirt. They have grown their program and this team invites five students to each meeting with the vision of them becoming new S2S members. Congratulations to Randolph High School. And our final presentation is for the MSIC Partnership in Student to Student Award. This award goes to the team that demonstrated overall selfless service in promoting and assisting MSEC with its student to student program. The inaugural winner of the MSEC Partnership in Student to Student Award goes to Falcon High School, Colorado Springs, Colorado. Please come to the stage to receive your award. Falcon High School has attended over 10 national training seminars. They have sent 13 students to the Francis Hesselbein Student Leadership Program and have three members on the Student Advisory Council. Falcon High School has provided guidance to countless teams through phone call visits and webinars. Today, their biggest accomplishment is the partnership with the Military Student Transition Consultant, Melissa Dashner, and Student Programs Training Coordinator, Tracy Brown, and the ES2S schools in the Colorado Springs community to have the first ever Purple Ball. They helped plan and run the Purple Ball, which hosted over 400 ES2S children and their families. The MSEC parent-to-parent -parent team, student programs team, and Falcon High School S2S team all ate dinner, played games, and danced the night away celebrating military children around the Colorado Springs area. Congratulations to Falcon High School. And Craig, congratulations again to all our finalists and award winners. One more round of applause for all of our student-to-student -student outstanding programs. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Becky Porter.
Wow. Okay. So now that we've, we've come to a close, or about to come to a close, I can honestly say that I'm impressed, relieved, and a little intimidated. We brought together a wide variety of speakers and participants from the academic world, from the military, from the health professions, and from the business world. Our speakers covered a wide range of important topics, and hopefully you'll all leave here with an increased knowledge and understanding, not only of the challenges faced by military kids, but of the amazing ways they are overcoming the hurdles of military life to succeed in the classroom as well as in their communities. To that end, I'd ask you all to join me in a round of applause for our students who traveled from far and near to be here to learn, experience, bond and create new friendships, all of which they will take back with them to their school campuses and local communities. Please join me. Throughout this national training seminar, you've heard us talk about sponsors, donations, grants, and the volunteers who help us put on an event of this undertaking. I also need to, on behalf of MSEC, once again thank all of our generous sponsors and supporters for their contributions to this year's National Training Seminar. You know, they say it takes a village to raise a child. Well, it takes sponsors, donors, grantors, and many, many countless volunteers to raise our military and veteran-connected children and to put on an event like this one. So thank you once again to our, our sponsors. I'd be remiss if I didn't thank the hotel, and finally, if I didn't thank, thank all of you for attending. So thank you very much, and thanks for making this a wonderful, wonderful <laughs> seminar. I want you to mark your count. Oh, wait, let me do this like Mary. Okay, now y'all. <laughs> I want you to pull out your calendar right now. Right, right, right. And I want you to mark it for next year. Okay, I can't exactly do it, but, but I do want you to come back. It, next year it will be Monday through Wednesday, which is a little bit different than it was this year. It'll be from July 27th through the 29th of 2020. It will be in this hotel again. And our theme will be inspiring thinkers, leaders, and doers. Okay, got it all written down? Okay, now say back to me what I, no, don't say back to me. <laughs> thank you again for joining us this week, and I wish you the very safest of travels, and thank you for being here for the sake of the child. Mama said, don't give up, it's a living